This, this is, is a Game Caviar production. production, Call of, Call of Duty, Duty, World of War, War, Team, Team Deathmatch, Death Gaming, Gaming News, News Live Home, Extraordinary, Extraordinary Hardcore, hardcore in your face. In your face. All right. Okay, so not having it in the Game Caviar Studios, I'm doing some, uh, damn it, I'm doing a live calm, Call of Duty, uh, World of War, the other Treyarch game. I'm going to try to do the news. This is something new. That I'm going to try to do the news while I'm playing the game. This is going to be crazy. This is a live news, probably the best live news commentary that you will ever see in the history of YouTube videos. I will most likely end up oh my goodness why i got i, I got to stop it power on for crying out loud what okay all right let me stay focused gotta stay focused stay focused stay alive and then what they say oh I'll... yeah that's right all right all right what do we have here what do we have here hold on hold on hold on hold on hold on okay i gotta be Ooh. okay hold on we got we got some news about doom 3 the bfg Edition now it's coming out this uh, this fall for Xbox 360 and PlayStation 3 now uh, according to uh, Games thirst they said that the BFG edition uh, Has the best 3d implementation in games uh, uh, Well games thirst. I'm reading off games thirst, but ID is actually saying it now there was a an article on another site that I uh, cruise around and they were saying they had a, a really good written article that was saying that 3D gaming is dead and that uh, during the, the Sony press conference, they didn't even say anything about it, which I agree with that they didn't say anything about it. Is 3D gaming dead? I don't think it's dead. I think it's still going to be implemented into video games. They, they just won't make such a big deal out of it. I love playing games in 3D, especially when it's done properly. Uh-oh, we got that recon playing. Got that recon play. Uh oh. Oh, 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 oh. Holla. Yeah, buddy. But yeah, uh, I think they're going to still have 3D in games. It's just not going to be as much of a big as a big deal as it is now. And it's, it's already started to go that way. Uh, companies are not putting as much emphasis on the 3D as they did before. So you can pretty much guarantee that it's going to end up. Uh-oh. Don't shoot me. Don't shoot me. Ah, come on. What else do they have? Let's see. Let's see. Uh, Activision believes that Wii U has a lot of potential. Now, there are so many critics about Wii U. And there's so many people that are, that are coming out and saying, look, we don't. Oh, my goodness. We don't think that the Wii U is going to be able to. What was that? What did he just kill me with? We don't think the Wii U is going to be able to compete with current game consoles, let alone next-gen consoles. So, a lot of criticism has been thrown at um, at Nintendo's way. But Activision is apparently one of the companies that's, that are saying that, look, it has a lot of potential. And over on uh, MPFirst.com, another gaming site, they say that uh, they have one that says the Nintendo is trying to lure the card audience away from the other two systems. I don't know how they're going to end up doing that. If you release a Call of Duty game on a console, it's going to sell. So I really don't. Is this our artillery or is it theirs? It's, it's, it's really, I don't know how they plan on doing that. I guess Nintendo is going to try everything they can do to really get rid of or scoop up a lot of fans from the other two consoles, which is understandable because it's a a competitive market. You know, it's only room for for three consoles right now. I really don't see anybody else. Oh, my goodness. Coming out anyway. I don't, yeah, I don't th see another company coming out with a console and the three that are already out are going to be fighting. Yeah, just grimy in the trenches like hold on like this like this is how they're gonna be like oh uh, you know and then they throw a molotov at each other kind of like that and then they get back down and it's real grimy and it's and it's gritty you know that's how i view the video game uh industry as a whole there's some artillery coming that is enemy artillery so i'm gonna go ahead and uh hide in this cave 
and I'm also gonna cruise around and look for a new video. Modern Warfare 3 news. Uh, they have, it, it, it has been a video that has leaked of a new multiplayer. Um, what the hell was that? They, they got a video, they have a video of Terminal in Modern Warfare 3. Ah, man, that was just, that was my fault. They have a video of Terminal in Modern Warfare 3. I saw the video. It looks all Modern, War, um, Modern Warfare 3-ish. It has that whole, you know how Modern Warfare 3 looks. So that's, that's what it looks like. It looks great. Although I was never really good at Modern Warfare 2. It, um, I don't even understand. It, it definitely, Terminal was one of my favorite maps that I always managed to do. Uh, it's mediocre to semi above average at best. Come on, dude. Let's see what this dude is doing. That makes no sense to me at all. Anyway. Yeah, over on MP first, and it's literally mpfirst.com. The letter M, the letter P, first, one ST.com. They have a video of uh, Terminal being implemented or being played on Modern Warfare 3. It was rumored for a while. And I don't know whether this is going to be like a pack of... I don't... This guy. What is his name? How am I not hitting this dude? I don't know whether it was um something that, that... That they're going to put together with a bunch of maps from Modern Warfare 2. That was a rumor that was floating around for a while. And they also said that they might do it to where they, they're trying to make it free. So that anybody can get the maps and they don't have to pay for it. I don't know how true that is. I hope it, that is true. Well, I mean, I'm I'm in Battlefield Elite. I mean, not Battlefield, Call of Duty Elite. So I'm not, you know, I, I get it for free anyway. But it's still a good gesture to give that stuff away f to f for free for uh, your fans. As that dude tried to do a 360, and you see how that happened. You see what happened there. I like this game. This is one of the the games that I had. I was a late adopter to. I really didn't buy it until after it was out for a long, long time. And I managed to pick it up on sale. And that's how I roll, dog. Sometimes I just buy games on sale. Anyway, let me see. What else do we have? What else do we have? Uh, they have a real life look at all of the uh, guns from Medal of Honor. If you're looking for that. Uh, they have a video on mpfirst.com of uh, Borderlands 2 co-op gameplay. Nice. There was a uh, Modern Warfare 3 patch that was released. It really didn't fix anything because their patches never fix anything. Uh, here's a bit of good news. Crytek says that Homefront 2 development is not affected by THQ woes. Apparently, THQ is going through something. And Crisis 2, a game which is the sequel to Crisis, a game that's currently out now, is not being affected by that now i'm a big fan of crisis and i love that game and i'm glad that it's not being affected by whatever thq was going through right now let me see if i can find some some more news uh double xp weekend for battlefield 3 for premium members that's a premium event only uh the the new ea game the secret world is having a beta weekend i signed up for it i've been fooling around with that all day trying to get a feel from it uh let's see here uh, Nintendo announced this big ass laptop looking 3DS XL that looks crazy. Uh, I definitely won't be getting any of that, but check it out. Definitely. It look, it's huge. It's really big. And I don't know why they continue to do that, but I don't know. I don't know. Uh, Ubisoft is adding a lot of big titles to Eurogamer Expo, uh, which is probably something that I really need to check out. Uh, but anyway, I'm sure I've gone over my five minute rule here. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, spread the word. This was a, a live calm, and um, I love you guys, all of you subscribers. Definitely, if you like the video, rate it. If you like live news, hardcore calm, let me know, and then I can definitely incorporate this into the uh, the Friday news thing. I know I'm kind of late, but I was busy, so sorry about that. Anyway, I'm out. Holla.